Hello, my name is Mario. Welcome to another system designing Go video. In today's episode, I'm sharing with you how to implement gRPC interceptors specifically for both the client and the server implementations. So what are interceptors? Interceptors intercept the execution of each RPC call. Users can do interceptors to do login, authentication, authorization, metrics collection, and many other functionality that can be shared across RPCs. In our case, like I told you before, we're going to be implementing interceptors for clients and servers. Let's start with the server implementation. As usual, the link to the code is in the description of this video, so feel free to check that out. We're going to be implementing the server interceptor first, both the unary implementation as well as the streaming implementation. What I did just to speed up things, I added a new file called interceptor under the server folder that defines the types that we need to implement. And these are the types that are coming from the gRPC package. They are literally functions that we just have to implement and do some work. We do the things that we are supposed to be doing, which in this case are basically three steps. There is a pre-processing, there is an invocation step, and there is a post-processing. So in order just to import the packages, I'm going to sa save this, and we're going to be doing the most basic interceptor out there, which we log in. So we're going to be doing a println unary server interceptor that is going to be printing out the name of the method. And we are going to be doing something similar with the post. So we have now pre and post. But now we need a invocation, right? So we need to call the handler. We need to pass in a context and we need to pass in the request. This will, is going to return the value that is coming from the handler. And we are going to be returning those back in our method. So this is the most simple implementation. What we need to do next is go back and update the main. We need to go down to the gRPC server. We need to add a new option that allows us to add or inject the interceptor. In this case, will be gRPC unary interceptor and the method that we just implemented, unary and interceptor. So that's basically it. If we compile, you will notice down, down here that everything seems to be working. So if we go into another window, we jump, to, jump into example server, we run our server, everything seems to be running, we run our client, and now you will notice that you will see that here we have the things that we implemented previously. It's just printing out pre and post and the method name. Now, there is an interesting thing that we're going to be using afterwards that is called metadata. And in order to do that, we just have to modify a few things here. One will be using this metadata package and then from incoming context we're going to add a passing the context this is going to be returning the metadata and okay and we are going to be doing if if there is no metadata we are just going to print out log print ln no metadata if there is a metadata we're going to be printing out the values that are in the metadata this is important because although in go we use context to pass in the values between different requests. For example, when we're wrapping around a server method in the context of gRPC, this doesn't exist. So we have to use the gRPC way of passing in values from the context between the different calls. So let's go back and run the server. You will see what I mean. So we're running again the server. We run again the client and you will notice that now it's printing out some metadata values. This will come into place when we're implementing the client unary interceptor. You will see in a moment. Now let's look at the implementation of the server interceptor. For implementing the server interceptor, we're going to be doing something similar. We just have to open up the interceptor file that I added before. What I did is I added the type that we need to implement. Again, is a function. So we just have to get rid of this as well as this value used to return nil in the meantime and this will make our editor happy and then we need to add the three steps that we need to add which will be log print ln which indicates the pre we just going to do something similar just print out the name of the method we do a post that is just going to be printing out that value we're going to be calling the handle with the server streaming which returns an error and then we're going to be returning the error. And similarly to the unary implementation, we just have to open up main, go down to the 
new server call and this will be a stream interceptor which receives an stream server interceptor. We compile this just to make sure. Again, down here, everything seems to be fine. We run our server and now what is going to be happening, we're going to be printing out some values when we're using any streaming RPC. So if we run the client streaming client, you will see that now the server is printing out these values right here for the pre and this value right here for the post. But we also want to intercept each one of the messages. In that case, we need to do something extra and that extra will be implementing a type that is actually going to be wrapping around the receive and the send methods. Let me show you. This new type can be defined anywhere. It's just basically something that we're going to be adding in our server. So we can call it wrap stream. And it's going to be embedding the gRPC server stream type. And this type is going to be implementing two functions. One for receiving and one for send. For now, we're just going to be calling what we receive initially. So it will be server stream receive message and the value uh, that we receive and something similar for the send which will be send message and send message now we want to print out the values that we were received so we do a log print f receive and we can do something similar with the send now next what we have to do is define a new function that is going to be used for wrapping this receive a stream into the stream that we just implemented for doing that we just have to be receiving again a server stream that returns the server stream that we are just implemented above so basically return server wrap server stream with the receive stream so we are literally receiving the server stream and we are wrapping that around and that will allow us to actually intercept the send and the receive for the server calls and we're going to be modifying this line in order to do that so we call new wrap stream ss and with this now we can allow us to receive those methods and also print out those values let me show you so we stop and run the server again one more time and we if we run the client you will notice that now for each one of the calls we're actually getting the receive and when we finish, we do the send right here. So we are still receiving the initial call in the streaming initialization, the one that opens up the stream. But then for each message, we can wrap around those values and actually indicate the send and the receive as well. Now let's talk about the client interceptors. For the client interceptor, the steps are a little bit similar. We're going to be opening the client and there is an interceptor file that I added previously. It includes the type, which again, similar to the server, is just a function. So in order to make my editor happy, we just return nil for now. And we're going to be doing something similar. Again, it has three steps, pre, invocation, and post. So print a land, unary client interceptor, pre, we print out the method name, we do a post and in this case we print out the result that we receive we will be the reply and finally there is going to be an invocation so we have the invocation with the context the method the request the reply the client connection and all the options this returns an error finally we just return the error if we run the client again i didn't stop my server that didn't change I'm going to be running my client. Oh, before that, again, we need to add that to the dial option. So gRPC with unary interceptor and the unary client interceptor. So we run our client and now you will see that the, there is a pre and there is a post right here. And as before, the things are still printing out the pre, it's printing out the metadata, and it's doing the post. Now, this is important because now we're going to be adding some values to the metadata. And in order to do that, we're going to be modifying our method to modify the context. And in order to do that, we're going to call this metadata package one more time, and we're going to be appending something. And again, if you recall what I said before, this is similar to the way context works in Go, but because this is your PC and there are different programming languages, you need to have your own gRPC way 
to add values like this we're going to be passing in hello as the, as the key and world as the value now we leave the code as is we run again our client and now you will notice that the values that the server is receiving are including the hello world that we define above so let's jump into the client streaming interceptor the client streaming interceptor is a bit similar to what we did with the server streaming interceptor i'm going to be using the bidirectional client because i want to show you the send and receive and again i added a new file that defines the type that we need to implement in this case will be a function but as you may be uh, imagine this is similar to the server one so we need to implement if we want to also catch the send and the and receive methods as well we need to define a new type and then wrap the server connection or in this case the client connection to do something with those values so let me show you first the easiest one which will be the stream client interceptor this will be doing the three steps as usual we're going to be printing out some values that indicate uh, the pre-step as well as a post and the invocation of the streamer which will be receiving a context a description the cc client connection method and the options this returns an error and the stream as well and then we can return those back so this is the simplest implementation that we have we need to also update main to include that interceptor and similar to the client we're going to be having a gRPC with a stream interceptor and a stream client interceptor. And if we go and run the client, you will see that now it's going to be printing out a pre and a post. Now, what if we want to actually do something about the receive and send messages uh, like we did in the server? We need to do something similar. We need to implement a new type. We need to implement a few methods and then wrap around the streamer uh, value and then send back to the gRPC client. Let me show you. So we're going to be defining a new type. Let's call it wrap stream. It's going to be a struct. It's going to be embedding the gRPC client stream type. We're going to be defining two functions. One called receive message. It's going to be receiving an empty interface, returning an error. And be calling the values in the struct client stream receive message and similarly we're going to be doing something for the send now we want to print out the values so we do a printf receive similar to what we did with the server and we're going to be printing out the send similar to what we did with the server as well and finally we're going to implement the new initializer new wrap stream as grpc client stream which returns a grpc client stream that is just basically wrapping the receive value with the value that we have now we need to change and use that in here so we're going to be modifying this return to start using this new wrap stream and passing the s that we received previously this is similar to what we did in the server so there's that, that doesn't really change so we run the client one more time you will notice that now we have more values being printed out we have a sent and you scroll down a little bit you will notice that now we have a receive as well so for each send you will we're going to be printing out the values as, as usual and for each receive we're going to be printing out those values as well which is similar to what we did with the server interceptor and that's it this is how you implement interceptors in grpc for both unary rpcs and streaming rpcs for both client and server hopefully this is useful for you again the code is in the description feel free to check that out i will talk to you next time take care stay safe see you